Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and for this video I want to present 3 different Lia tricks, tips or techniques so you can have the edge in difficult matchups and such. I will present and develop discussion on the 3 main topics, minion aggro control, circle management on your Q ability and also the Lia's main combo. Minion aggro control means that if you use one out attack when trading with your opponent, minions will attack you. However, using an ability such as your Q won't trigger minions auto attacks. In most matchups, your level 1 Q auto damage the opponent, so you can just position on the side of the lane or in between enemy caster minions and tower. In melee matchups that can't reach you early on, such as Fizz, you can just Q spam hit at level 1 to gain time as he wants to engage on you at level 2 or 3, so you will have an advantage. This technique works against multiple matchups and most of the time you should win level 1 trade. Beware enemy junglers that love to gank at level 2 to give an advantage to their mid laner or themselves. This technique is simple, just stay in range and use your Q without auto attacking the enemy champion. There is also an ongoing aggro bug that Faker uses and I do not know if it was fixed. Check Fnatic's wall YouTube account for the video in which he talks and develops the subject. We continue now with circle management and how you can deal the most effective damage. In order to maximize efficiency you have to be resourceful, as in you won't just Q spam randomly and you'll hope to deal the most damage, you have to position as such you have um, a positioning or an advantage over the enemy champion. I didn't use in this uh, scenario Q spam right now, I could, if I were a beginner I could just Q spam right here and that's a mistake, you don't have to use your Q every time you're not on a circle, you have to use your Q only for poke, your main Q I mean, the Q without a circle under you. now. Uh, as you can see, I'm not really using in this scenario Q's only when he's using. Uh, I'm using it only when he's using these his uh, minions, his little thingies that void somehow. I don't know their names. And uh, you want to use your big Q every time you have an, an opening. Now, most of the time, the enemy champion, as you can see in this video, he will stay behind his minions, and uh, you'll for you'll be forced to use your combo to try to poke him more. See? Right here. Just moving and doing it as it should. No Q spam and uh, no mispositioning and yeah right here we also get a kill because I didn't have a circle there already and uh, most of the time you'll get kills when you aren't in the fucking circle. So move around, don't stay in one spot keep walking, keep dancing around the map and try to always find an opening for the enemy. Moving on, this section is about Talia's main combo and about her ability order, as in do I cast W first then E or do I cast E first then W? Well, we will use a game featuring the Talia god KT Ukol. In this game and most of his games he uses first his E and then his W. Most people use their combo in the other way around, but they ignore the fact that E actually gives a small slow that can give you enough momentum to cast your W. So against better opponents that just seem to dodge every single W you throw at them, try use your E first. I will say, this is the correct method to use your combo in higher ELO games where most opponents will simply dodge the usual combo without any slow already used on them. That would be it for today guys, I really hope these type of videos actually help and aren't completely useless for some. I will start in about a month to do an unranked to diamond series when the season starts and I'm really looking forward to it. And the schedule of the videos theoretically remains the same every Wednesday at around 10pm Central European Standard Time. I can make more gameplay videos, by the way, two per week and less tutorials if you all desire as such. Just say in the comments. Thank you so much for your time and have a great week. Goodbye guys.